Rush University Medical Center uh, conducted a study that said frequent social activity may help to prevent or delay cognitive decline. They studied 1,138 older adults, average age of 80. At the start, all were free of any signs of cognitive impairment. Over an average of five years, however, those who were more socially active showed reduced rates of cognitive decline. Those who had the highest level of social activity experienced one quarter the rate of cognitive decline as those who were not socially engaged. Of course, I'm not a scientist, but in my work with elders, I've observed that people who remain socially active have a better quality of life. This isn't the first time Rush University and, uh, has examined this. Rush and Duke had a study that showed people with broad social networks did not manifest Alzheimer's, even though on autopsy they found the tangles and plaques associated with it. The American Journal of Psychiatric Health reports that social support, socialization helps protect against dementia. And the Journal of Pain had studies that show social support reduces pain and depression. Here's the ironic thing about all this. In a world that's increasingly wired, we actually spend less time socializing with people. Just the thing we need. Thanks.